the sync. I still have not forgot to switch the sync once. This is pretty impressive. I know it's bound to happen one of these days. It's bound to happen. Either way, as uh, former SKMC, these days just MC is our blue protos falling in the right bottom side of Frost as he will go up against Balmer, who's our uh, Red Terran. Former Starkill right now may or may not be affiliated with Red Bull. Uh, uh, he definitely is. It's not official, man. I mean, maybe unofficially he is. And Red Bull guys love him, but I don't yeah. think there has been an official announcement. Tom is too smart to let Bomber go. <laughs> Tom is indeed a boss. All of the Red Bull guys are bosses. Red Bull is doing some cool stuff, man. Red Bull is going to be amazing in 2014. I've heard some of their plans. It's secret, but I know it's going to be good. It's going to be good for NA. Here we go with everybody. the announcement of the announcements. <laughs> hey, what can I do, man? I don't want to burn my bridges with uh, Red Bull. All I know is that they, they will be doing some very, very cool stuff this year. And all the Starker fans will be very happy with it. And it doesn't even matter what level you play at. You don't have to be a super pro. Spoilers. Yeah, just teasing a little bit. It's good stuff. Either way, Bomber uh, might actually go command center first once more, which is a little ballsy, seeing the fact that he just got teased by MC on Youngster. But of course, for us, the four-player map, much larger. It's uh, much harder to pull off something like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, on this map, there is no, no proxy you really should be afraid of. The first thing you could be worried about is some kind of early on Zealot aggression followed by the Mothership Core and Stalker. But uh, Bomber, I wouldn't be surprised if he scouts with this uh, at about the same time he starts making his first barracks. And also keep in mind, Bomber is the guy that always loves to get three barracks and pump out a lot of units uh, out of them. So he's going to be safe against a lot of early on aggressions because of this. And that was also true in the previous game where I guess you could say he had no choice anyway. In the, in, in the previous game, he had to get three barracks and he had to make a lot of units. But Bomber is that guy who always likes to do that. And MC is going for a scout again. MC has been doing a lot of scouting. Mm -hmm. No matter what exactly, the match is going for. He's going to get a little lucky as he's going to find this command center first. So this probe will be able to be annoying, start working on this SUV. And uh, maybe force Bomber to pull two SUVs to the low ground. Might seem like a small uh, deal, but still, it's kind of annoying. It's going to slow bomb to, uh, Bomber down a little bit. I'm just actually going to look in the main base first. He's going to see there are two Rexes over here, and he will see that there is no refinery just yet. I think he should have kept the probe on the low ground, because, you know, what else do you expect to see after you see Commence at the first on the low ground? Did you, do you agree with that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we agreed upon something, <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. After knowing you and Mello for after now, 10 years, have to know... <laughs> it took us ten years, but Jonas agreed with me on there. Man, I'm gonna cherish this VOD like it's my firstborn. Make a highlight out of it. <laughs> Put it on YouTube. <laughs> you was a little hesitant. He was about to say like, no. I was no, trying to find a reason to say no, but <laughs> not this time. It's okay. We are, there'll be plenty more opportunities. <laughs> yep, especially because there's a lot of Starcraft to be casted in the upcoming days. Mothership Core is going to make its way across the map, and that's going to be a little annoying. MC already dropping a forge, so I think he's going to prioritize upgrades this game. He's probably going to get a nice upgrade lead for himself. Bomba once more with the three Rex, even though um, he opened commands at the first. A lot of Terrans like to follow it up with just two Rexes, one reactor, one tech lab. Not Bomber. Bomber is three Rex all day. And I'm really not sure how I feel about this 3 rack style. Like, I know it's good against a lot of cheese aggression builds from Protoss, but in a very straight up game, your manifacts are so much later that, to be honest, I wouldn't really mind facing this style that much, as long as I know I'm playing against it. I don't know. If Bomber goes it, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would mind facing Bomber. I faced him once and then it didn't go well for me. <laughs> <laughs> I did put up a fight though. Did you do the Maximus having... build? No, I didn't do a Maximus build. I think I should have. You would have won, maybe. I, I did a Roddy build. <laughs> okay. It back, not it back pocket. Good. No. <laughs> Plus one armor already on the way for MC. Okay, finally a tech lab. Uh, after making, I think, 12 Marines or something, which is a lot. So Bomber yeah. is still going to stick to the style he likes the most with making a lot of units out of three barracks. Late add ons. Even the first one is quite late, and an engineering bay early on. Might be worried about Dark Templars or Oracles at this point. He wants to make sure he's safe. Start his plus one early on as well, which is always nice. 
Mm, it's going to allow Bomber to get a quick stim because of the attack lab. And with all those units that he will be able to produce from these three Rexes, if MC decides to go very greedy on and drop that third Nexus very quickly, then I think it's going to be a little bit of trouble because I don't think he could defend that against all these units. Even though I've been wrong about this in the past, I remember a game I casted last season between Alls and uh, I don't know who the Terran was, but he played on Dalsha Vestage. And the Terran also opened up with three Rexes. And then Alls went one gateway, three Nexus. And I was like, oh my god, this is the perfect scenario for the Terran. Uh, Alls is in so much trouble. And then Alls just like, cast a couple of photon overcharges and he defends like a champ. And I'm just like, what? How on earth did that just happen? Like, I had no idea. Even though I think the Terran messed his execution up a little bit, it was still sick. Yeah. Bomber, on the other hand, Johan, is dropping a super quick turret command yeah. center on location, even, like on the low ground at the 8 minute mark. That's sick. MC is going to see this attack coming here with his observer. Don't think Bomber should be scanning for this. And MC, surprisingly, he goes for a Twilight Council uh, with the opener that he had gone for, which seemed like the most standard. PVT opener where you get the Robo and the Forge usually, you oh. see a lot of Protosses go for uh, Colossus. Yeah, I think he's getting the Twilight at least for uh, upgrades though. That's his uh, plus one armor already finished up and I think he wants to get plus two really quickly. Yeah, but then you get charge. You don't get Colossus. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Uh, he's getting charge and plus two armor. Look man, we are on two base now. This is my department, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one, one base is where my knowledge ends. <laughs> <laughs> like he may or may not be able to bust the ramp right now, <laughs> and if he's not, I don't know what's oh, going to happen. Oh, the starboard miss landed. Uh, anyway, somebody messaged me on Twitter or asked me why we are not casting from the same lobby, uh, me and Roti. Well, we are not doing that because we cannot. With the current patch that was released, the replays, even though nothing in game was changed, the replays are considered as the old patch. So every time we launch a replay, uh, we get logged off battle net. And we cannot basically watch any replay with anybody else, so that is why. The, the patch timing was a little unfortunate for us. A little unfortunate. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it will all be fine. I mean, I really like, like, the three racks opening you on, I had mixed thoughts about it. But if you open up three racks, of course you're going to get a lot of map presence and you will force Protoss to be a little defensive. But if you then follow it up with such a quick third command center, yeah. Maybe then I suddenly like it again. Like this is kind of breaking, uh, breaking what I know about PvP. And Bomber is putting himself in an okay position right now. He's up six workers. Yeah. Of course, his upgrades are a little late, but he has plus one already, so it's not even that bad. And, and he has steam fire now. He sees how much army is headed for him, so he's gonna get two archons to help support with this. Not gonna try to rush to storm. That I like this choice. While he has the war prism headed for the main of his opponent, he hasn't spotted yeah. the third base now. He's about to. And he yep, sees now it he now. does with the prison. Maybe, yeah, and he's going to change his mind. He's like, ah, I'm going to drop some Zettles there instead. It's like, what the hell, bro? I thought you were going to put on some aggression. Why do you have three bases already? Bomber flies in with some uh, Ignite Afterburners on his mana back, and he will be able to take care of these Zettles. Look at these Zettles, man. They live so long. Plus two armor is good. <laughs> Life is good when you have plus two armor. Actually, plus three armor starts, as we say this. Yeah. As well as Storm, Research. MC knows uh, he's bought himself a little bit of time with this, and he still has the possibility to send himself zealots. He has his war prison, which is saved across the map. Look at this factory on the right side of the map. It has a reactor on it. And he's making <laughs> widow mines. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, yesterday I saw Bomber adding quite a few widow mines in his army as well against Jim, and it does surprisingly well against big clumps of zealots. It's really sick how effective it was, especially when they play these Twilight styles. They often uh, don't have too many observers, however, MC does have three observers on the map, yeah. so maybe it will be a little less effective. But they are still. really nicely placed, by the way. MC has a very good map presence. He can see a lot. War Prism is still active on the north side of the map, and it is going to not drop Zealots in the third, but it will drop Zealots in the main base. Uh, maybe he can get in. No, there are plenty of units over here for Bomber. Bomber is doing a good job in not taking too much damage from these yeah. Zealots. Bomber is 1-1, one, one, and MC, he has... Plus three armor upgrades uh, halfway through down. If he can complete that, it will be quite good. Those Zealots, they will literally never die and buy himself time for the Archons to do a ton of damage. Storm! Oh my god, what a massive storm there by Bomber. Lands in the middle of that bio army, uh, by MC, of course. Bomber, his supply is ridiculous, yeah. though. What the hell? Almost, he has 122. Not even at the 14th minute. Oh my god. 120 to 130 army supply. Oh, look at the MC top left hand side. 
MC feels confident enough to hold back at home with just a storm, so he's gonna warp a huge round of Zealots, which he's gonna send into the third base, I think. It's all gonna come down to the splits, man. Like, six storms is indeed a lot, but just storm is not good enough if the Terran splits well. You actually need something to finish off the unit, because yes, you're gonna do damage, but do you have something to kill the units with? Either way, MC is gonna deal a lot of damage this time, I think, with his Zealots on the other side of the map. Good force fuels here, excellent force fuels by MC. He gets 5 6 fire units for free. At the same time, a big zealot warping over here at the third. This, ba this uh, game has just gone crazy. Yeah, MC now warping in a ton of zealots. This is gonna do a lot of damage, kill the bunker, and the third is gonna have to be evacuated. But Bomber, he goes for the big timing. He's dropping into natural at the same time. And huge storms go down. This could go bad for Bomber though. He's losing a lot of units left and right. So far, it seems that MC is stabilizing. And MC is doing a sick amount of damage on the other side of the map. Supplies are getting closer and closer as well, even though there is still a 40 army supply lead for Bomber. Widow Mines dealing a little bit of damage. Yeah, but they, they are gonna get killed here uh, as Bomber is oh, gearing up for Bomber's the Bomber's army is only in Medifax most of the time. Yeah, MC's wow, army was out of position for a second, but he catches on to this army and uh, with the big drop in the main MC is gonna, he's gonna have to split very very well the zealots are still idle in the third base of bomber MC needs to use that as soon as possible yeah. if he sends up to the natural then bomber is gonna be really in trouble but MC has money in the bank he's getting closer and closer and supply more good storms on top of this bio army and plus three armor is proving to be very very sick I think bomber has a hard time actually biting through most of these zealots and despite MC not even using all the students Oh, and Zealots are going to be sent into the natural of Bomber finally. They're going to catch some very unfortunate units here. Uh, as is Bomber is looking to try and finish his opponent, or at least Doom Ball damage, as both, both players are trading right now still. Zealots being warped in the main of his opponent. MC had quite a bank. He still has quite a bank. Yeah, I don't know, I hear you very weird right now because uh, maybe the internet but MC is gonna send even more zealots into this army of bomber maybe a little bit prematurely he didn't have enough here to really deal with this in the meantime <laughs> he's killing everything <laughs> totally this uh, I don't know maybe this guy's not going to uh, be able to pick this one I think this game is going to end real soon but this map is also like a super active game the offrated defenses is doing there are still a few strong left but there's a lot of issues I'm gonna finish the cast for that game by myself as Rotti is having some issue, I guess. Bomber is gonna stream inside of the main of his opponent. He knows that he has to kill his opponent now or do even more damage because he's basically lost everything back at home. MC gets in there, nice storms, they are gonna kill most of this army. Bomber's supply is disappearing very, very quickly. 17 walkers to 22, but the important number here, 80 army supply to 41. MC gets in there, he has two observers. He's gonna be able to kill those widow mines as well. And Bomber is not even mining right now. MC, he has a very few minerals left. He could remake an expansion. And Bomber is gonna have to call GG in this game here. MC makes it out of the group.